Mad City just added missions, okay? If you guys play Jailbreak, especially like, uh, you know, 2017, that time area, whatever, you guys might know Asimo added a missions update. Or maybe you had no idea that missions even existed, period, in Jailbreak. Well, Mad City has missions, and they seem to be a lot better than Jailbreak's missions just from first glance. Okay, we got daily missions, we got weekly missions, and we got the season missions, okay? So this is gonna be very interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these ones, okay? Dance by a tree, bridge, and ferris wheel. Okay, I I'm kind of scared to do the ferris wheel one, but like, uh, we got arrest criminals, we gotta fly around eight hoops, we gotta kill five players using a pistol, uh, yeah, this stuff honestly is not too bad. I think I should be able to uh, do the uh, stuff fairly easily, okay? So let's get ourselves a, a UFO here and uh, go around the map and let's just start doing missions, okay? So we got ourselves, uh, I think the daily missions will probably change, but who knows? Okay, let's see here. Weekly missions should be available for everyone, okay? We got like this skin or something from being like a winner. Dance by a frozen tree, a bridge, and a ferris wheel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and come over here by the uh, bridge. Okay, I believe this is where the wooden bridge is, and we're just gonna come down here, do a dance, and you can see we got it. Okay, that that's pretty sick. Okay, now we go to the next one, which I believe is the uh, frozen tree. Okay, this is the wooden bridge. It's right next to the airport, the new vehicle area, all that stuff. And uh, yes, yeah, so now we're going to that place where, you know, you shoot with a lot of uh, rockets, RPGs, grenades, whatever the heck you want to call it. Basically, you just come on over here to this tree. We're going to go on and go to do uh, some orange justice. And there we go. Got herself step two of three. That's quick and easy. Okay, finally, this is the one I think you should uh, come over here and, you know, turn off your volume completely for because uh, Tame Master did not listen to our complaints. Because this thing still plays music, and I don't want to, like, hear that thing. So I'm not even going to bother playing it. But we're going to go in and just dab on the Ferris wheel, okay? Just dab on the haters, man. The Ferris wheel hates us, so we just dab on it. And I believe, whoa, we got ourselves 5,000 XP from that. That is actually pretty cool, okay? Each of these objectives gets you 5,000 XP. So if you complete six of them, then theoretically you get, like, uh, you know, six times 5,000, which is 30,000 XP, which is not too shabby. So the next one's arrest 10 criminals while being a cop. I might have to do that on the public server. Plus, that is fairly self-explanatory. Do I really need to show you guys how to arrest in this game? <laughs> like, uh, probably not. Okay, so now we can go ahead and do the fly around 8 hoops. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and just slowly come on in here. Okay, there's one. I'd recommend you use a helicopter-style vehicle like a buzzard, UFO. Okay, we got ourselves number two. Wait. Can I, uh, no, they despawn. Yikes. Okay, so that, that doesn't work. I was thinking about just flying through them, like, back and forth over and over again. Okay, we got this one over here, which is number three. And then, uh, I'm not even sure if I started at the start. Okay, we got four. This thing's really, really interesting to control. We got number five. I think there's actually a total of eight. So, uh, yeah, let's come around here. And uh, I'm not even, like, <laughs> trying to steer this properly. And plus, UFO needs, like, an indicator that, like, shows it's, like, pointing the right way. Okay, like, you know the jailbreak one. Your seat, like, points the right direction. This one, your seat's invisible. You don't know, okay? So, uh, please add something like that. But, yeah, we got ourselves uh, number seven right over here. And uh, number eight should be this one. Boom. Eight of eight. And now we ranked up to level 101. I believe they unlocked the level, so you can go up to level infinity if you really wanted to know life this game. So I'm not sure how many people will actually know life to level infinity in this game, but uh, who knows, okay? So the pistol one we can do uh, sometime in, like uh, in a little bit here. Find 10 ducks hidden around the map, uh, yeah that one. <laughs> I think I know where the ducks are, okay? I have, like, a list over here, but before we go to the ducks, I'm gonna show you guys how to get all of the influencer, uh, stuff. Okay, so if I come over here, I'm gonna go ahead and move all the way to the uh, right side so you guys can actually see this code. But I believe the code's over here. Let me go ahead and get my, uh, list of codes ready. The first code is 5K37CH. And then you press submit... Uh, okay, I think it's case sensitive. 5 capital K 37 capital C H. I believe this one's a sketch one. We got ourselves the sketch YT skin. Okay, so uh, we got that one. Next one is Real Creek, capital first letter of each word, I believe. You get yourself the L Man skin. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go number three. Uh, napkin. Okay, that's Napkin Nate skin. 
Uh, there we go. We got this one. Looks uh, probably the best one out of the ones I'm gonna show you. And finally, is this the Spanish guy? K R A O E S P, like that. Okay, whatever that looks like. And there we go. We got ourselves the uh, Creo E S P skin from a Twitter code. Now, how do they look? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go back into this UFO here. I kind of want to keep my PewDiePie skin, but then, like, uh, I have to show you guys these ones here. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and go to the shop, the skins. We got the Napkin Nate skin. That is sick. Wait, hold up. Hold up a second. Bruh. It didn't even, like, you know, save it. Now it saves it. Okay. It points the wrong direction. I'm going reverse and I'm going forward. So, uh, yeah, whatever anti-direction the arrow is pointing in, that's the forward direction of the UFO. I guess that actually works pretty well, okay? Now we're going to take a look at the Crayon ESP, whatever this guy is. He has a triangle and it's also pointing the wrong direction. <laughs> well, actually, you can point three directions, but it only makes sense pointing that way. The third one is the uh, Creecraft skin and it also is pointing the wrong direction. Why are all the skins pointing the wrong direction on my UFO, man? This looks really interesting. And finally, we have the sketch one, which uh, you can't really tell which direction it's facing. So, you guys might be wondering, where's the bacon skin? Well, I, have, I can neither confirm nor deny that the bacon skin might come to this game. So, uh, yeah, that, there's that. Anyway, you know the one I'm gonna go back to, right? Uh, hopefully it's still here. I think it's still here because it was there earlier. It's the PewDiePie one, okay? We, we gotta respect our Lord and Savior here, okay? And uh, yeah, so now we can go ahead and start looking around for ducks. So I have a list here. I haven't really done it on this account. I don't know my alt account for testing purposes. But I believe there's one over here. Actually, no, not the lighthouse. The prison, okay? We need to check the prison. There's gotta be one at this jail. So, uh, yeah, they look like these, uh, yellow rubber ducky majiggers, and you see one over here, and then just, uh, quack the duck, okay? You go, quack, okay, can we, uh, quack the duck over, uh, where he found it? So they don't even despawn, bro, what the heck? Now I can't even know which one I found, bro, like, despawn the ducks, like, you know, you know how, really, like, the rings despawn, right? You know you should despawn the ducks like that. I believe the next one's here at the lighthouse. So the, uh, ice is still in the game, meaning that, like, I don't know how boats will even work. But here we go. We got ourselves the Quacker Majigger number two here. And, uh, we go back into this UFO. I'm just gonna hopefully get in a, uh, circle around the map. I'm not even sure if I found these in, like, any sort of pattern, but, like, where I even have it listed down in the pattern. There's, a uh, one over here at this, uh, greenhouse here, so we just come over here. It's right next to that apartment building, and it's over here, just, uh, quacker to majigger over there. We got three of ten ducks here. So I'm so glad there is no duck near the ferris wheel. I do not want to have to turn off my sound again to experience that crap, okay? So there's one over here by the oil rig, and, uh, yeah, so it is on, like, this, uh, crane thingamajig, and you just quack that thing. It's at this blue box here. It's kind of, like, bad that it's nighttime right now. If I turn it on to, uh, daytime, it'd be considered cheating. So, uh, yeah, it's, like, next to this, uh, radio tower thing. It's, like, this crane or majigger or whatever you want to call it right down there. Okay, next one, I believe, in Area 51. In the Area 51 one, if you uh, take a look at the uh, oil rig, you come over here, it's at this uh, fence over here at the very beginning, and then you just uh, quackermajigger that thing. Okay, we are now halfway done with this challenge here. Okay, next one, I believe we're going to the volcano. So I know there's like uh, one somewhere around the waterfall. Yep, here it is, right over here. And I'm not sure if I should show the cookie room secret at this time, because I never really like uh, found it in any of the previous videos. It is, uh, somewhere around this waterfall over here, uh, there's probably a duck inside there. So I believe the, uh, cookie room one, it's, uh, right over here, there's, like, a little spot of, a uh, green, it's at this, uh, tunnel with the sign that has, like, no words on it, and then, uh, you, like, crouch or something, yeah, you go, like, all the way over here, and then it's, uh, yeah, the cookie room, okay, uh, the, they really like these uh, cookies here, but we quack the duck and jigger inside of here, and now uh, we slowly make our way back outside. Okay, perfect. That, that was quick and easy. Next one, I believe, is on the volcano. If you come over here to the volcano, you look at the city over here, the volcano, like this area. You look at this front, and then you just come around here, and uh, right, right underneath my UFO, you get out of this thing. Whoa, what the heck just happened? Uh, we gotta quack this thing. Okay, there we go. Eight of ten ducks have been found. The last two, I believe, are over here by the airport. So there's a hole in this mountain over here, and a nice duck is uh, right over here okay so taking a look at the city i'll go ahead and fly outside of this hole again i believe it could be the one with like the free car on it uh let's see here no the free car is on that one over there so basically the one right behind the free car and in between the volcano over here okay there's that one 
And then is there one over here by the wooden bridge? I feel like there has to be one. And the final duck is over here by this wooden bridge place. If you come around here and uh, right over here, we get ourselves the very, very last Quacker Majigger. And I believe that gives us 10 out of 10 and we get our XP. Okay, so that's how you do the duck quest. Okay, what other quest do we got here? We got the robbery quest and we got the pistol stuff. Okay, so uh... How do we do these? I think uh, I know a secret strategy to this, okay? You might have realized I'm inside of a VIP server here. Also, how long is the freaking night in this game? It's longer than Jailbreak's night. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the prisoner team because it's gonna make it a lot easier. And uh, yeah, so we're already over here. I'm gonna go ahead and join on an alt account. Okay, you can see my salad here, alt account inside of this game. All we gotta do now is go to the police station. And once I'm in, all I have to do is allow my uh, main account inside over here. And then, uh, you know, get ourselves a gun thingamajig. Why does this thing, uh... Okay, now we can go ahead and start oofing the alt account. Okay, we got five players of pistol. You can see over there, we already have it. Okay, now we gotta come over here. And I think what I need to do is do ungod a uh, salad okay that does not turn on cheater mode and basically you just do this over and over again okay we have to use a pistol so a deagle or a pistol or maybe the tech nine ungod salad again and uh, here we go these quests are too easy man like i'm not even joking i don't think they thought these quests through enough okay because literally this is borderline cheating Literally cheating, honestly. A Simo would consider it cheating, but then he will do this himself. So, I mean, that technically is cheating. And finally, the last time here, we're just gonna go ahead and pow, wow, gazow. There we go. Five players using pistol successfully done. Okay, now we're rank 102. What other quests do we got here? Okay, we got arrest 10 criminals while being a cop. Okay, so now we can go ahead and switch back onto the police team. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my alt account to the prisoner team. And it's about time we go uh, do some interesting stuff here, okay? I think all we have to do on alt account is punch the main, okay? So here we go. Ungod, okay, we already got ungod mode. There we go. And uh, punch, punch, and he punch. Boom. Back to prison, okay? Now all we have to do now is find the cell that the criminal goes into. And you can see over here, salad eater, the unique bacon air is inside this thing. And all we gotta do is punch, and then boom. <laughs> this is so easy. <laughs> I'm not even sure like if you aren't like just going solely for the missions here You probably don't even need the uh, VIP server like you can do it on the public, but this is like interesting Okay, so come on get out of here. Okay, now we come over here punch and then cuff Three of ten and now I'm just gonna keep on doing this until we get to ten of ten and finally we are at the last one I believe oh, oh it is possible We can uh, actually arrest people while they're in the cells. That is amazing. All right, we got ourselves the uh, next uh, quest here. Okay, I believe we are, yeah, five, six done. Bank, club, casino, jewelry store. These robberies are easy peasy, okay? Let's go ahead and switch over here, not onto the hero team. I need to go onto the prisoner team, okay? So uh, let's come back here to the prisoner team. I'm gonna switch my alt account onto the cop team so I can just get like some free key cards and get out of here. Wait, you don't need a key card in this game. This isn't jailbreak. Anyway, let's just get out of the prison. So these robberies that they want me to do are everything except for the pyramid. So Creek Cruff got lucky this time because every time we do pyramid, he go oof, okay? And I'm not gonna go oof in any of these stores. So we're gonna come and start off with jewelry store. And we're just gonna like, uh, you know, successfully go down the line. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, we're just gonna come over here. I don't even think we have to rob the store fully. It just says rob. So that means, uh, you know, we're gonna come down over here and uh, do this. Okay, I think we have to actually turn into money. So great. So we got the jewelry store robbery, uh, the money at least. So now we can go ahead and come over here and do the uh, bank. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the... Uh, criminal base after this just to make sure that we can still stack money because i don't want to like you know waste a bunch of time trying to rob stuff like and stack them together if it got patched so it looks like the bank might have gotten nerfed here it looks a lot easier okay so uh, yeah uh, definitely a big nerf to the bank level so i think the casino probably also got nerfed as well and uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and come into the bank just uh, casually get ourselves like 300 cash and then yeet on out of here, man. Okay, uh, let's come all the way over here. So instead of going to the nightclub, I'm probably gonna go ahead and go turn it into the criminal base and see if it actually gives me points for both robberies. No idea if they caught that during testing or not, but I hope it's uh, not patched. I like it when I stack rubbery, okay? Or right, quick, 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 there's a Ferris wheel music there. Come on, okay, it actually stacks, yes. 
Perfect. Like, I like it when it stacks. Come on. Go, 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 go. I cannot like, you know, this. Come on. UFO. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, oh okay. Go, let, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Far, far, far away from that thing. Far away. Okay. No more oofing, uh, whatever. The Ferris will try to oof me bacon here. We do not let Ferris will oof the bacon here. Okay. Ferris will shall never touch me bacon today. Okay. We're going to come over here. And do the same thing we do for these. Okay, honestly, uh, they need to revamp the robberies. <laughs> They're way too similar. Like, four... Uh, yeah, okay, how many robberies are the same here? We got the boat. We got the... the uh pyramid we got the nightclub we got the bank the casino they're all just like an obby and then you know sit in the vault it's like not cool okay now the casino or i mean the nightclub is open and uh boom easy pc okay got ourselves the money and we can yeet on out of here we just proved with the uh, other two robberies you don't need to rob a full robbery for it you can just rob whatever the freaking heck you want an amount of money from those four robberies okay kind of wish they had a pyramid in there just so we could troll creek and uh See how long it takes before he rage quits Mad City again. And finally, we got the Rob Casino. Okay, so uh, we gotta still have to hack into this thing. Hackerman hack here. Okay, and at least it's faster than the uh, nightclub one. Okay, so how easy is the casino now? I'm really curious. Okay, so this part over here, I believe one less set of lasers. And then uh, this one, it's still the same difficulty, right? Yeah, looks like it's still the same difficulty for that one. Nothing in the middle. That is key. There's literally nothing in that middle thing now, okay? So no more people oofing inside while they're trying to transit. And then finally, the fourth one over here just like that. And uh, yeah, look at this. This is so easy, okay? They made a creek craft level now, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of money here. And then uh, casually pop on out here, okay? Uh, now we can go turn in the stuff. And here we go. Second time. Let's run on in here. Run, 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 run. Ferris wheel, please shut up. There we go, rank 103. We got the Amethyst skin. Okay, we actually need to take a look at how good this skin is. Okay, I really don't want to be near this Ferris wheel. We're going to fly, like, so far away, man. This Ferris wheel, please go shut up. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, far, far, far away. Okay, this should be a good place. Okay, we're going to go ahead and come over here. Where is the Amethyst one? Okay, it's right over here. That's interesting. It looks like the uh, Crayo or, like, uh, the Creek one. Okay, that's what it is. It's just a different color scheme. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think that is basically it for the uh, weekly challenges here. I can't really do the daily one because, uh, they can probably, like, change any time now. Okay, so, yeah. We got, a uh, cargo boat one time as a criminal, whatever, all this stuff. I'm not even sure how much XP this gives. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead, and it says to rob, like, a store. So I think the Apple Store maybe counts as a store. Let's try the Apple Store. Okay, is robbing the Apple Store considered a store? No. It is not considered a store. Why? Is it not considered a store? What the heck? It's an Apple store. It's literally in the name. I don't get this logic, man, but let's see. Is there a boat here? I still don't know how a boat would get here because the water's all frozen and stuff. But yeah, I think we're just gonna rob the pyramid just to look at the amount of XP we get from a daily challenge. Alright, so we just got ourselves 15,000 cash from this pyramid here, and we're gonna go in and turn it into the criminal base. And this way we can see how much XP a daily one gives. Okay, so we're at 7,200 right now uh, to go, and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go to the criminal base. Okay, here we go again, okay? How much are we gonna get? We get ourselves 2,000 XP per daily challenge. So that means in one day, you get like 6,000. In the span of like 7 days, if you do like, uh, you know, every single day, you can get 4,200. So yeah, do those daily challenges, man, okay? They're probably all gonna be very easy. I think there's like one over here where it wants me to like rob the boat one time. That is easy peasy, man, okay? Let's go ahead and just come over here, get ourself uh, this little bit of money here, and uh, let's go ahead and pop on into the UFO. I don't know how this still flies like this, but uh, okay. And uh, into the criminal base we go one last time. Boom, okay? We got ourselves another free 2,000 XP, man. So much free XP. <laughs> and yeah, uh, get 10 kills while being a hero or villain. That's pretty straightforward. You just like camp the prison or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's basically it for this, uh, you know, how to do all the first week of weekly challengers here inside of Mad City. How to get all the uh, skins, all the new stuff. Bang George Store got nerfed and everything like that. If you guys enjoyed this, a new missions update, uh, update guide, whatever you want to call it. Be sure to press like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.